Hello and good morning from Naples. It's Thursday morning today and every Thursday morning in Louder Milk Park there is yoga on the beach by donation. So my dad and I are going. I just paid for parking and I'm looking for them on the beach. It's such a pretty morning. It was rainy last night and a little gloomy this morning but the sky just opened up and now it's sunny and it's so pretty. I'm not the biggest yogi. I don't love yoga but I keep trying it because I want to like it. We will see. And this is the view while you do yoga. It's awesome because it's for charity, for Habitat for Humanity, and everyone gives between 10 and $20. That's a lot every week for charity. That's amazing. The teacher was awesome too. I'm gonna link all the information for yoga in the description. One thing I do really like about yoga is that you can just do whatever you want. If you wanna do the stretch, you do it. And if you don't want to, you don't, and it's fine. <laughs> I feel like nobody really cares about what anyone else is doing. Like I never look at other people in class and think like, oh, they can't do something as well as someone else or whatever. There's just no judgment. It's so nice. And it's all about being happy and being kind and just encouraging. One of the things she said in class was, if you truly love yourself, you will never be mean to other people. And I was like, damn, that is so true. I heard this quote once that said, nobody who is better than you or more successful than you has ever been mean to you or tried to drag you down. Pay no mind to people that are mean or judgmental, you know? They got their own stuff to sort through. The sun really came out. It was not supposed to be this nice today. It is gorgeous outside. Next on the agenda, acai bowls. I'm on the hunt for them. It is my favorite food. I'm so excited to eat it. I need to find the place though. Okay, two miles away. Here we go. Woo! There is just nothing like cruising with the windows down. I thought I just heard an accident outside. It's scary. I got the goods. These are so big. Oh my God. This is my favorite food. I'm so excited. So all these are for me. Just kidding. Some are for my parents, but I did say that if they don't like them, I will finish them. So I hope they don't like them. Just kidding. I'm just heading back to the hotel that we're staying at now. And then we're just gonna hang out by the pool. I'm trying to get back without the GPS so that I feel like a local in Naples. I think I'm doing well so far. It's a very easy town to understand. The pool is so peaceful right now. I've been reading about paradoxes. I got this cool book. One of the paradoxes in here is a riddle that my cousins and I talked about at every family party since like middle school through college. Took us like eight years to solve it. And I was flipping through this book in Barnes and Noble and I saw this riddle in here and that's what made me pull the plug and buy it. So here's the riddle. How my cousins told it and how I see it in this book is a little bit different. So I'll read from the book. See if you can solve this. Three people have dinner at a restaurant. After the meal, the waiter brings over the bill which comes to $30. Each diner contributes $10. The waiter takes the cash to the manager who informs him that there was a mistake. The actual cost of the meal was $25, so the diners have been overcharged by $5. The manager hands $5 bills to the waiter and tells him to return them to the diners. However, the waiter is not entirely honest. Rather than handing over all $5 bills, he hands over just three of them. He gives one to each diner and keeps two for himself. But there is something amiss here. The three diners end up paying $9 each, making the total $27. Meanwhile, the waiter pockets $2, but 27 plus the $2 from the waiter adds to 29 and not 30. Where is the missing dollar? <laughs> Can you solve it? <laughs> I don't know if I should say the answer in the video. I kind of don't want to. Really think about it. Check back in later. I'll let you know. 
Ch watch my next video. Right. You subscribe to my channel for the answer. Right. <laughs> this riddle took our family like eight years to figure it out, all of my cousins. And then my mom solved it in like six seconds. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I think I'm not gonna say the answer. I feel like that's more fun. I don't know. You can find the answer online or in this book if you want it. There's a bee in this hot tub. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna get the bee out with a leaf. Here we go. She lived another day. Our morning is pretty much wrapped up now and we are getting ready for our next adventure in Naples. I feel so lucky to have mornings like this every once in a while. It was so nice doing yoga with my dad and just relaxing and having such a beautiful day to be outside. I'm wishing you all the peaceful mornings. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.